learning objectives. At the end of this topic, you will be able to identify the dimensions of cubes and cuboids, compare with a unit cube, draw solids on a flat surface, view different sections of a solid. Introduction Solid shapes can be drawn on a flat surface, which is known as the two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional solid. Sketches of solids are of two types, oblique and isometric. To draw oblique sketches and isometric sketches, we need squared paper and dot paper. Using the squared paper and dot paper, we can draw cubes and cuboids. Shaheen and her students in the classroom. She wants the pupils to build the figures from the straws and the plasticine. Children, I'm going to give you some straws and plasticine. I want you to build figures of cubes and cuboids. Use the straws to make the edges and plasticine to make the vertices. You can cut the straws to suit the size you want. I will give you 10 minutes to build your figures. Then you are to present it to the class. You can sit in groups of twos to do the work. Anu and Anju are going to present their work to the classroom. All right, children, who will present the first? May I, teacher? Okay, Anu. Let us listen to your presentation. This is the cube. This is the length, the breadth, and this is the height. The dimensions of the cube are all the same or of equal size. Now let me compare this figure with one unit cube. It needs 64 unit cube to occupy the space. The units that occupy the space is the volume of the figure. Now I will open up the box into a net and measure the dimensions. All the dimensions are 4 centimeters. Now I will fold back the net to form the cube. And that's the end of my presentation, teacher. Very good, Anu. And thank you. Well, who wants to present the next? I would like to present, teacher. Let's listen to Anju's presentation. I built a cuboid for my presentation. This is the length, the breadth, and this is the height. The dimensions of the cuboid are not equal. Now I'll compare this figure with one unit cube. As you can see, the length is six units cube, and the breadth is three unit cube, and the number unit cube to make one layer is six times three. That's equal to 18 unit cubes. Now let me fill this cuboid with unique cubes to the top, and the height has three unit cubes. To find the number of unique cubes that fill the cuboid, I multiply the length, the breadth, and the height. Six times three times three, that is equal to 54 unit cubes. The amount of space filled by 54 unit cubes is the volume of the cuboid. And that's the end of my presentation, teacher. Very good, and thank you, Anju. Drawing solids on a flat surface. Look at the picture of the cube. Not all the lines forming the cube are of equal length. Also, we are unable to see all the faces of the cube. In spite of this solution, we can make out that the image is of a cube. Such skeletons of solids are called oblique sketches. Oblique sketches are drawn on squared paper. The oblique sketch gives the visual representation of a solid shaped object but does not represent the actual dimensions. The two dimensional surface on which we draw an image is usually flat. They can be drawn using a squared paper. The first step is to draw the front face of the cube. Then the opposite faces of the cube are drawn. This face should also be of the same size as that of the first square. The number of squares is used as a reference for maintaining the size. Now the corresponding corners of the squares are joined. And finally, the edges that cannot be seen are drawn with dotted lines. We can see that the front face and the opposite face of the cube are of the same size. 
also, the edges appear equal, though we do not draw them of the same length. Drawing solids on a flat surface. Isometric sketches are drawn on dotted or isometric sheets and have the exact measurements of solids. An isometric sheet divides a screen into small equilateral triangles made of dots. Using this sheet, we can draw sketches with measurements that agree with that of a given solid. Let's try to draw the sketch of cuboids of length 4 units, breadth 3 units, and height 3 units. First, draw a rectangle of length 4 units and breadth 3 units. Then, 4 parallel line segments. Each of length 3 units are drawn starting from 4 corners of the rectangle. Finally, the matching corners with appropriate line segments are connected. The isometric sketch of cuboid is formed. Observe that the measurements are of exact size, which is not the case with oblique sketches. Viewing different sections of a solid. Now let us see how an object which is three-dimensional can be viewed in different ways. One way to view an object is by cutting or slicing. Here is a loaf of cake. It looks like cuboid with a rectangle face. Each face of the piece is a rectangle. We call this face a cross section of the whole cake. Next, a kitchen clay. Some vegetables when they are cut for the purpose of cooking. Finally, make clay models of the following solids and make vertical or horizontal cuts. You can now view the different shapes of three dimensions. Another way of viewing three dimensions is by shadow play. Shadows are a better way to illustrate how three dimensional objects can be viewed in two dimensions. Place the cone under the lamp. What type of dimensions of the shadow will you observe? Yes, the shadow of a cone is triangle. In the same way, you try to place the object in forenoon, afternoon and evening. You can view the same object in different shapes under the sunlight. A third way of viewing three dimensions is by looking at it from certain angles to get different views. Look at the image standing in front of it or by the side of it or from above. Each time one will get a different view. You could try this for figures made by joining cubes. Summary Let's summarize the topic. Identify the dimensions of cubes and cuboids. Compare with a unit cube. Point to note. The dimensions of a cube are all the same or of equal size. The dimensions of a cube are not equal. The amount of space filled up by the unit cubes of the solid figure. Plane figures are of two dimensions and solid shapes are of three dimensions. Example for two dimensions, the circle, square, rectangle, quadrilateral and the triangle are plane figures. Example for three dimensions, the cube, Cuboid, sphere, cylinder, cone and pyramid are solid shapes. A vertex is a corner. An edge joins one vertex with another. A face is an individual surface. A net is a skeleton outline of a solid that can be folded to make it. The same solid can have several types of nets. Solid shapes can be drawn on a flat surface like paper realistically. We call this as 2D representation of a 3D solid. There are two types of solid sketches. They are an oblique sketch and an isometric sketch. An oblique sketch is drawn on squared paper. It does not have proportional lengths. Still, it conveys all important aspects of the appearance of the solid. An isometric sketch is drawn on an isometric dot paper. In an isometric sketch of the solid, the measurements are kept proportional. Hidden parts of the solid shape can be viewed using visualizing solid shapes. Different sections of a solid can be viewed in many ways. One way is to view by cutting or slicing the shape, which would result in the cross-section of the solid. Another way is by observing a 2D shadow of a 3D shape. A third way is to look at the shape from different angles. The front view, the side view, and the top view can provide a lot of information about the shape observed.